Hello! Nice to see you back here on my channel. Today I will uh, yeah, s read an English fairy tale for you. And the name is The Babes in the Wood. Um, I hope you enjoy. And yeah, just relax and have a good time with the fairy tale. The Babes in the Wood. Now pardon, now ponder well, your parents dear, these words which I shall write. A doleful story you shall hear, in time brought forth to light. A gentle and a good account in Norfolk well played. Why did no honor of surmount most men of his hesitate? So sick he was and like to die, no help his life could shave. His wife by the, his wife by him a sick died light, and both process one grave. No love between these two was lost, each was to the other kind. The love in his life, the love they die. And who left two babes behind. The one is fine and pretty boy, no passing three years old. The other, a girl more younger than he, and framed its beautiful mold. The father left his little son as plain did appear. Then he also perfect age should come, three hundred pounds a year. And to his little daughter Jane, five hundred pound in gold, to be pained down and merry date, which might not be controlled. But if the children chance to die, ere they age should come, their uncle should process their wraith, and so the wild did run. Now, brother, said the dining man, look to my children, dear. Be good unto up my boy and girl, no friends else have they here. To good and you I recommend my children dear as this day, but little while he sure we have within world to say. You must be father and mother both, and uncle all in one. Good snow that will become for them when I had die and go. So the breastbaker, their mother dear, O oh, brother kind, the poor hair. You are the man must bring our babes, the wells of misery. And if you keep them careful, then God will be reward. But if you otherwise should deal, God will direct the guard. With lips as cold, as any stone they kiss their children small. God bless you both, my children dear, with all the tears did fall. This speech on their brother spake to sick a sickle couple there. They keeping off a little ones, sweet sister do not fear, could never propose me or mine or aught else that I have. I did do wrong our children, dear, when I will lie in grave. The parents being in bed and gone, the children home he takes, and brings them straight on to his house, they much they have to make. He had not keep the pretty babes, say twelve months and a day, but their farewell and did arise to make them bother away. He bargained with two sufferings strong, which they proposed mood, that they should take children young and slay them in a wood. He told his wife an awful tale he would be children sent, to be brought up in London town, which one that was his friend. Away then went those pretty babes, reconnaissance and tide. Reconnaissance with a merry mind, they should a cockhorse ride, 
The bread and prattle presently, and the ride is on the way. So those sit in pictures be, and they work their dinner decay. So that's a pretty speech they had, murdered mothers, darling relied, and that they undertook the deep of fool, so didn't repeat. Yet of them, more than of heart, did know to do his charge, because they ran to hire them, and had pay him very large. The other won't agree their flow, they also still of strife. With one another they did fight about the children's life, and he has the moldest milk, didn't save others there. With an unfriendly word, the babes quit quite so far. He took the children on the hand, tears standing in their eyes, and bade the straight room follow them, and they did not cry. And how long miles he led them on, while they would complain, stay here, quote he, I bring you bread when I come back. These pretty babes stand hand in hand when wandering up and down, but never more could see the man approaching from the town. Their pretty lips with blackberries were well meshed and dried, and they saw the dark soon night, and they sat down and cried. Those wonder seas in continence till death they did their grief. In one's another arms he died, as warning and real life. No brutal their pretty pair from another way, till Robin Redbreast brushalized. He covered them with leaves, and now they have to grave the god, and their uncle fell. Yea, fearful friends and hunt this house, he considered felt and hell. His barns were fired good and consumed, his land hair brought made, his cattle died within the field, and nothing with him stayed. And in a voyage to Portugal, two of his sons did die, and to conquer some himself was brought, he want and misery. He pawned in Montegrage, and his land, ere seven years came about, and now this is a wicked act, and that he means to come out. The fellow did to take and hand his children for to kill, and for a robbery juggly and die, such as God bless will, who will confess and very true, as their bed been displayed, the uncle having put date in jail, and when he works as light. To the expectors be made, and overseen eke, for children that be fatherless, and infant mild and weak, make you explain by the thing, you've yield and each is right, lest God supplash misery, your wicked mind require. I hope you enjoyed it, and you feel nice and well, and now you can sleep good and have a good night. So I wish you a great day, a great night, sleep well. And if you like to hear more from me and my fairy tales, just give me a comment under this video. Or you also can give me a thumb up and maybe you also like to subscribe my channel. If so, I will be happy to see you soon back here. So have a good day. See you soon. Bye bye. Wish you a good time.